Welcome back. Take this in a gorgeous sunset outside on the Saturday night. The day started out a little rainy, but the sun, as you can see, obviously came out. Well, now the temperature is dropping, so let's check in with Michael Fish to see just how many layers of sweaters we'll need tonight. Well, you know, Shannon, it is mid-October, so to have these chillier temperatures, not surprising, but still, Frost Advisory, Milwaukee, Racine and Kenosha, if you're just joining us, there's a reason why the rest of you aren't included. It's not because you're not going to see frost. It's just because Milwaukee, Racine and Kenosha hasn't seen a hard freeze yet. So frost advisory for you overnight. The rest of us probably going to see more frost. If you have the sensitive plants, talk to them nicely. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's getting a little bit of late, and some of us have already seen the freezing temperatures. Going to see it again tonight. 32 currently, Watertown, Waukesha. That's what we're going to be at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Milwaukee 37, so Kenosha 34. There's that areas of frost. So just be aware that's going to be the case overnight tonight. Some more of that widespread frost. And then, of course, the big game. 12 o'clock noon, around 50 degrees in Green Bay. Increasing clouds, there's going to be a slight chance of an afternoon shower or sprinkle, but most of the game should be fine. 59, that's what our average high should be. And how did we do today? We didn't make it there, 58 or 48 degrees. But as far as tomorrow, look at Des Moines, 58, 55 in La Crosse. We're going to make progress with a little bit more sunshine in the morning, but the clouds are going to be on the increase as the day goes on. With current temperatures, 45, West Bend, Port Washington, Milwaukee at 45 and Racine. But remember, of course, we're clearing out the skies. And with that, the light winds, the dry air, we're going to lose a lot of that heat out into space. You don't have to worry about any rain tonight, but again, the threat of frost is going to definitely be in the forecast. So here's a look at future forecast heading through the overnight. Notice the state mostly clear. So we're going to be clearing out those clouds, all that heat going out into space. And then as far as our forecast for tonight, 35 degrees, we're going to be clearing out those skies, areas of frost. And if you live inland, you're going to be right around the freezing mark. And then as far as tomorrow is concerned, we're warming it up just a little bit, at least compared to today. 56 degrees, clouds going to be on the increase as the day goes on, a little bit breezy. A wind out of the south southwest, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at our next seven days here. Again, there's tomorrow. It's a chilly start, 35, but we make it up to 56, those increasing clouds. Monday, there's going to be a slight chance of a shower out there or a sprinkle, but that wouldn't be an all-day event the way it looks right now, 58 degrees. Tuesday and Wednesday, we should dry it out. And then as far as Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is concerned, look at Friday. That's not too bad at all. As far as our temperature, 61 degrees, 62 next Saturday. So, Shannon, we're going to have kind of a cool start. Mm -hmm. uh, gradually, the clouds on the increase tomorrow. But as the week goes on, we make progress in the temperature department. So, no big shots of polar air yet. I don't mm -hmm. know if anyone's complaining quite yet. It is mid-October. It is mid-October, and I'm glad to see that there's no rain showers in your forecast this week. However, or snow showers. Or snow showers, you are correct. <laughs> but still, bundle up. Yeah, bundle up, especially right. tonight. Thank you.